Cameron here and we're going to learn Playing On My Mind by the 1975. We're going to comprehensively look at this uh, tune. We're going to first learn it in open tuning and then I also put together an arrangement either in, in standard tuning but just with the capo on the second fret as well. So let's kick it off. First up we're going to tune our guitars. So put the capo on the second fret and tune to the following notes. The low string is going to be an F sharp. Fifth string is going to be a C sharp. The fourth string is going to be an F sharp. The third string is going to be an A sharp. The second string, B string, previously B string, is going to be a C sharp. And the top string is going to be an F sharp. Okay. So, uh, strumming wise, we're going to do this down. Right, so down, down, up up right that way you get the things that are ringing in the tune so down down up up okay and then down up at the end of the bar so we get one and two and three and four right one and two and three and four and all right okay so the very intro it's got a little little tag at the front there put your second finger on the first fret of the third string then fourth fret, second fret, and then that is the whole thing. All right, and then the verse kicks off. So we've got uh, what looks exactly like an E major. This is an F sharp minor. Okay, that strumming pattern, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up. Then we're gonna play a B sus four, you just need to put your second finger on the fourth string, third finger on the third string. Right, same pattern. Okay, and then we are going to play that open strings, which is an E major chord. We're going to go down, down, up, up, down, up, down. And then in the second bar, you're going to hammer on with your first finger on the first fret of the G string. Turn that tune off. Okay, and then that loops. You get F sharp minor, B sus4, E, hammer, Okay, then we get to the second part of the verse. We've got F sharp again, B sus4 again, and then E major, hammer. Now, then halfway through the slides, his first finger, seven frets away from the capo. So in real terms, we're at the ninth fret on your guitar on the G string, and 11th fret, or versus the capo, seven and nine. Okay, and we're going to go. Okay, so it's just an alternate version of E, but very pretty, right? So we've got. Right, so one and two and three and four and. Okay, then we hit the pre chorus for the first time. We're going to hit our third finger here on five, five away from the capo. So same thing. Now here's a bit of a discordant chord, so you have to be pretty careful with how you do it. Put your pinky on six, right? So you're gonna get five. And then B flat in the bass. Yeah. And then E major. Sus four. And then up to the E major seven. Okay, so that whole pre-chorus section is A, this is an A, B flat, E major, hammer, up we go, and then back to A, B flat, E, and then we're going to go, alright, make sense? 
and up to seven and eight. And then the chorus. B, E. Then the seven, eight. And then A again. B, E. Hammer. Pull off. Hammer. Okay, so at that point we go from there back to the very beginning of the song without the without the tag, right? Then when we get to the end of the chorus the second time we're going to play a bridge. Here's a bit of a sort of key change situation. He plays a G sharp. Now how to play a G sharp when you're in open tuning? So you've just got your first finger flat here against the fourth fret and you can play Or you could alternate pick. Yeah? Up to you. So you can hit those two fours. Um, or strum through. And then we're going to play. This is C sharp seven. So we've got two, four, and three. All right? So we have G sharp. We hit those four bars three times around. And then we hit an F sharp minor, then a B, like we did before. And then we go back to the, uh, the pre-chorus, all the way through this, B flat. Into the chorus again and when we get to the end of the chorus we basically play the chorus round and round until the end of the song so that is the whole thing now if you want the chart you can get that at patreon.com forward slash simon morell stay tuned we are going to learn how to play this tune in regular tuning right now all right so uh first up we are going to learn this strumming pattern let's put the chord first chord of the song on you need your third finger on four on the five string these two open so you've got four four two open open now that's kind of an F sharp we'll talk about that F sharp minor we'll talk about that in a second but you need to play down down up up that's basically the strum right down down up up down up so you get down down up up down up now those two ups you're gonna get one and two and then up on the B string, up on the E string. So it's not like you're doing like that, but you're kind of playing this. Okay, makes sense. So that's our strumming pattern. So let's just have a go at that. Stick your chord on one, two, three, four, and one. Keep your fingers out here so you can get the pick nice close to the guitar. All right, so let's learn the chords. We've got two bars of this F sharp minor chord. And then we're gonna play a B. First finger here on the second fret, four, four, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Now, here's a slight change. The pattern actually is the same, but on the one, you're gonna go from this E us four, right? Basically your pinky covers up there, all right? So on the one, like that. So you're gonna get this off, on, off, okay? So the whole verse sounds like this. B, hammer. That whole section happens twice. Then more of the verse, or the second half of the verse, if you like. We get that F sharp again. One, two, and three. Same thing, B. And then an E major. Off. 
Now, then you're going to slide all the way up to here. This is a C sharp minor, basically. Now, if you like, you can put your second finger on the low note there, or you can just not hit it, or you could put your thumb there. But we're going to do exactly the same thing. See what I mean? Exactly the same strumming, I should say. Okay, so that section, there's eight bars. So we've got F sharp minor, one and two and three and four and one and two B. Hammer E, off, C sharp minor. Okay, so that is the whole of the verse. Then we move into the pre-chorus. Now we're gonna play an A sus two, which is basically like an A major, but with one less finger. So you've got zero, two, two, zero, zero. So I would use your first and second, uh, first and second, second and third fingers here, because in a second we're gonna use this on a B flat. So you get the same thing. Yeah, one and two. And then. Which is weird, right? But have a listen to the record you hear it. One and two and three and four and one. And then an E major. Then that C sharp minor all the way up here. Okay. And then you're going to play exactly the same chords in the same order, but only one bar each. So one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and E C sharp minor. All right. Then we get the chorus. Um, the chorus is just A. sharp minor. A, B, E. And then back into that sus4 thing that we did before. Okay, so let's talk about that. Now, we've got a few options here. We could play an A like we did earlier in the song, the A sus2 sort of thing. And then B. Just one bar each here, same pattern. E. And then C sharp minor. Or you could play like an A, like an E shape here. So like B, E, C sharp minor, A, B, E. And then the sussles. Okay, so that's the end of the first time around. We had a verse, then the second half of the verse, then we had a pre-chorus, then we had the chorus. So the first chorus effectively is eight bars and then it has two bars of kind of E filler, you know. And then the second verse starts. Okay. All right, so then you play that verse, the second half of the verse again, the pre-chorus again, and then the chorus again. And then at the end of the eight bars of that chorus, you go into the bridge, which looks like this. This is a G sharp seven, so you're gonna to need to be able to play a bar chord here at the fourth fret. All right, same thing. Two bars, one, two, three, and four. Now this happens three times, so you get two bars of G sharp seven, two bars of C sharp minor seven, right? You're just switching those fingers like that. So one and two and three and four, one. One more time. And then that F sharp minor seven, uh, F sharp minor again. And then a B. back into the pre-chorus. E flat. Uh, e major. C sharp minor. A. E. C sharp minor. Chorus. Now here on the chorus we basically play that first line uh, twice instead of just once. So um,
last time. And that is how you play Playing On My Mind by The 1975. Thanks so much for watching, I really do appreciate it. Uh, if you want to subscribe, please do. And if you want the chart and more, go to patreon.com forward slash Simon Morell. See you later, bye for now.